a man known for his divisive political views. Nigel Farage is back in the headlines. But this time, it's his finances that have got people talking. The former UKIP leader has claimed the exclusive bank, Coots, has closed his account due to his political status as a politically exposed person. That is now nine other banks that have refused me. They're telling the press I don't meet their wealth threshold. Well, they've never mentioned that before in the previous ten years. The worst of the story is they denied to me on the phone on Friday that I was a pep, a politically exposed person. That's the reason nobody else will have me, and Coots are, frankly, being very, very dishonest. Sky News contacted Coots for comment, and they directed us to their website, which reads... Clients are required to maintain at least £1 million in investments or borrowing, mortgage, or £3 million in savings. Coots also explains it takes into account commercial viability, legal or regulatory requirements and reputation. I'm doing my best, mate. Claiming the bank's actions are politically motivated, Farage has failed to deny that he has too few funds in his account to remain eligible. At a time when banks and the financial sector are already in the firing line over allegations of profiteering regarding interest rates, questions around whether banks are targeting their clients because of their political views will do nothing to enamour the sector to the public. Rishi Sunak and Nigel Farage have not been the most obvious political bedfellows, but today the Prime Minister weighed into the debate. The Chancellor's been very clear about this and spoken to the regulators. Obviously, we have to respect people's right to free speech, and that should not be an excuse to close anyone's account, and that's not what we would expect. He's known for his often controversial views, but he claims he's now being targeted for them. Mari Aurora, Sky News.